Top five Roblox dev skills that actually pay. Look, there's a lot of skills that you can learn in Roblox development, but only several of these skills truly make you a lot of money. See, a lot of devs learn skills that don't help them to earn when that is their goal, right? And we're gonna be talking about the main skills that will help you to make money on Roblox in 2025. So first and foremost, you gotta understand a distinction. So there are in-studio skills and there are outside of studio skills. In-studio skills are skills like scripting, building, modeling, UI design, graphic design, animation. All these skills are directly involved with making a game. Now, what people don't see are the outside of studio skills. These include things like marketing, business, game design, project management. These are the skills where the real money is at. And that's for a reason that I will explain to you in a moment. If you wanna learn one highly lucrative skill that will earn you money fast in Roblox development, join Scripting Secrets below. This is my course on scripting. It is one of the fastest ways to learn it that exists. It has helped lots of members figure out the ropes. I will see you inside top link in the description. Go ahead and click that to join now. Now, out of all the skills, in studio that you can do, the one that will make you the most is scripting. If you can become a truly competent scripter, you can make an incredible amount of money, right? You can make money from commissions, from selling dev assets and game templates. You can make money from scripting tutorials on YouTube. Heck, you can even make your own simple games because you have the most important in studio skill to finish games and get them out there. Now, building and modeling is a close second, because every game needs a map. You can get away with not having animations or fancy UI in a game, but it is harder to get away with not having a very good map or having very bad models nowadays. Depending on the game, right? Not every game needs super nice visuals, but having some decent visuals at minimum tends to be a base requirement for most Roblox games. So if you wanna earn the most, focus on those skills. However, I will say, Building and modeling do have the most competition because they are also the easiest skills to learn. So you may find extra benefits in doing the other skills like animation and VFX because not as many people do them and they're considered more difficult by most devs. Thus, there's less competition to get commissions with those skills. Now, the part you've all been waiting for, outside of studio skills. Why do they make you more? Hmm, why is it that never touching Roblox Studio earns you more money than sitting there in Roblox Studio all day? Well, the answer is simple. Outside of studio skills are higher leverage. Inside of studio skills are low leverage. Outside of studio skills allow you to manage other people. They allow you to build a business. They allow you to use the legwork of others to further your own project, your own cause. Now, naturally, that's higher leverage because you have other people handling all the in-studio skills and you are the CEO of your own Roblox business telling everyone what to do. The problem is, right, and I'm sure if you've been in Roblox development for any amount of time, you've discovered this, you need money in order to make this happen. And most devs don't have money. They are broke. So most devs get into in-studio skills and they are often doing this with the plan to use the funds they make to fund their own games and to hire other devs down the road. This is great, but many devs never actually make the jump from low leverage work, from commissions, etc., to high leverage work and managing their own projects and running a studio. Now, why is that? The reason is devs get into a comfort zone. They get very used to taking commissions, right? They get very, very comfortable there. Oh yeah, I just love taking scripting commissions on X. I just love working all day in studio on my code. I have this beautiful code base. I have all these scripts that I pull from on GitHub, blah, 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 right? They get in a comfort zone. And I absolutely had a period of that as well back when I was doing a lot of building and modeling commissions several years ago. But the problem with this is you stay low leverage. You stay trading your time and your effort directly for money. So I tell devs on this channel, those who are entrepreneur minded, who have bigger ambitions than just that, than just treating Roblox like another job, like a nine to five, except behind your computer screen in Blender or in Roblox Studio, that you eventually graduate to making your own entire projects. And this can be a difficult jump because you need not only a lot of money or Robux, right? You need like 
500,000 to a million Robux or thousands of USD or more to do that. You also need other skills, right? So we talked about project management and game design. Well, how do you learn those, right? You learn those through doing primarily, right? You learn those from making games, from leading games, and also from working on teams, right? So I'll often recommend that devs take commissions, do these other things before they try to lead teams because when you're taking commissions, you end up working for studios, which teaches you how those studios work, how they operate, which shows you project management and some game design insight. And you can pull from that and use that to build your own projects and lead your own teams. Now there's a huge problem, right? A lot of devs, they'll try to jump straight into project management and game design too early. So how do you fix this? Well, the way that you fix it is by gradually stepping into that role as the project manager and game designer and as the entrepreneur and step into these other roles, the marketer, the project manager, the businessman, the game designer. You step into the entrepreneur role gradually. And the way you do that is by starting out, make simple games first, and then do your core skill. Say that you're a scripter. Do that aspect of a game. And this will be best if you're a scripter because scripting is the main aspect of a game that you make in studio work. Do as much of the game as you can yourself and then hire people for small things. Usually people start out hiring for a GFX artist. That's the first person they ever hire. That can be a great way to start building up those project management skills, learn how to lead people, and then transition into hiring people for other roles later on after the lower stakes practice has been done. Then you know how to manage a worker. So now over time, you're gonna transition from being somebody who mostly focuses on low leverage in studio work to being the project manager, the game designer, the game owner type of role, right? But you wanna make a gradual shift rather than just jumping into the ice cold water all at once, right? Taking that plunge all at once is not a good decision. I definitely did that back in my early days on Roblox and a lot of young devs do. Oh, we think we could just hire a bunch of people from the group recruiting plaza, which was this game where you could just make a booth for your group and hire people. And like military groups on Roblox will do this. They'll sit there all day getting members for their group. Well, we did this for developers in a group called Volt Gaming Studios. And the problem was I got a full team, right? But I was not ready to manage them. I didn't have the project management skills. Yeah, I knew how to do a Trello, but I didn't know how to do deadlines. I didn't know how to hold people accountable. I didn't know the most important things to make my games finish and actually release. So learn from my mistakes. Instead of trying to jump into the project manager game designer role like I did way back in 2017, 2018, 2019, all at once, slowly step into it by commissioning devs for one-off orders for specific things. Maybe start with a GFX or a map or a few models or if you're not a scripter, hire somebody to make the core systems. Then as time goes on, as you learn those project management skills, as you learn to ship games with a team, then step into having other people do everything. Have everybody else handle all the low leverage in studio tasks. You manage them using your project management skills. Have the Trello board going, have the deadlines for everything. That is gonna be the best approach for you. So that is it. Right? These are the most high earning skills because when you're managing these games, you have other people doing all the work for you, what happens? You're able to get games out faster. And that means you can throw more darts at the board and thus have more odds to make something successful and thus make the most money possible. But it's a journey. That's why this channel is about Roblox development career strategy. You're building a career, not just one-off projects, one-off commission orders, or one-off games. Again, if you want access to lessons and direct help from me where you can ask me any question you want about development, join Scripting Secrets now. It has helped hundreds of devs to learn scripting faster than any other method. I will see you inside. Peace.